What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be revealing my first ever Shopify dropshipping store. I get a lot of questions and people asking for feedback on their store. So hopefully this video will answer some of them questions and help some of you guys out. So I'm going to be showing you it in the mobile format because 85, 90% of orders always come through mobile users. So that was always the format I focused on and tried to optimize the store in that way. So this is my site, Shop Omnia. Omnia being Latin for everything, so shop everything. It was always going to be a general store until I knew what products sold. Then the plan was always to have a general store, test products, and then once a product sold well, then build a store and a brand around that product. So as you can see, nothing special, very basic. I think a lot of people when they get started overcomplicate things when in reality all you need is something that's clean and crisp and easy on the eye and easy to navigate as well. That's very, very critical. So at the top here we've got a banner image just advertising a different offer. I'd usually change this every week if not every two weeks just to keep the site looking fresh and new for people coming on. Moving down then we've got collection lists. Um, just straight away customers that come on and come to the own page they can see what type of products we sell and then the background image being the best selling products in that category. That way you're just more likely to get interest and more likely people staying on your site and clicking which is very very important. Moving down then, best selling products, um, same products in fact as the collection list. That way people can see exactly what they are, exactly the sorts of price and if this site's for them really, um, if they can see a product and the sort of prices that you're selling it for immediately, straight away, they'll know if they can buy off this site. For instance, if this bracelet was 100 quid, then they might be put off straight away and think, oh no, these products are too expensive. So again, it's just a way of keeping people's interest going and keeping them on your site for as long as possible. Um, <clears throat> again, say very basic, nothing special. We've got a few testimonials down here just to instill social proof. That's very important on a new site. If you're not a household name, then people aren't always going to trust you off the bat. So it's very important to create social proof and reviews are a great way to do that. Um, again, all the general, general menus that you should always have uh, and a sign up list. In fact, I don't think I've got one person to subscribe. So it's kind of irrelevant, but people would expect it on a normal site. So it's, it's important that you have it there. Um, this is an important page to contact us page. People want to know if there's a problem, especially if they don't trust you 100%, that they can always get in touch with you. So it was. <clears throat> so it's an important page to have. You should always have it. Um, now, I have what's called a virtual office, which is basically an, an address that I can use that people can see that I have a location and somewhere that they'll be able to find me should they not trust me, if that makes sense. No, I don't know why that's gone black. That shouldn't be black. Anyway, um, so again, building on social proof, people it just makes people feel more comfortable about buying from me. And then again, they can go straight to my Facebook page. They've got an email address or a form that they can fill in and send to me. Now, moving on, we'll go to a product page. Um, <clears throat> I never really focus too much on anything else apart from the product pages, really, because my, f my ads always send people straight to the product page. So that was always the bit that was important for me. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, then you know this was the first product that sort of took off for me. I did over 100K in the first year just selling these alone. So that is what a 100K product page looks like. And as you can see, it's nothing special. It's just clean, crisp, easy to navigate. You can see straight away five-star reviews. Again, building on that social proof, 
you've got the different images of the different colors that people can look at. You've got the menu selections, easy to navigate again, and then you add the cart button, which is highlighted in blue, very easy to see. <clears throat> now, moving on, in stock, this was a product that I actually stocked, which meant I could advertise the two to three days delivery. Um, again, building on that social proof, people are expecting it to be a product that's located in the UK, so they're going to receive it quickly, whereas they can sometimes be put off by the long delivery times of other uh, dropship products. Um, in case you haven't seen the first few videos, then I did drop ship this for a while, for about two, three weeks, and then the sales proved valuable enough for me to then build on it and actually start stocking the products. Um, so that's why that's why that says that. Moving on, these were Facebook comments from the ads and I just embedded them in the product description. Again, building on social proof, they can click on people's profiles, see their real people that have bought the product. In fact, there's an image there, which is it's just great for building social proof. It just completely legitimizes your store. It's a very important. Moving on then, we've got a brief product description, which is more important than you might think. I see so many people that just copy and paste the product description from AliExpress and half the time it doesn't even make sense and then people wonder why they're not selling anything so take the time write a decent product description it's always good to try and make the customer sort of imagine or feel like they need the products like create a want in them to to want the products so here taking your dog out for a walk in low light can be difficult and even dangerous it might spark a memory of them walking their dog in the dark or something it's just it's problem solving which is the best way of selling the products you've got to solve someone's problem or why would they want your product um, and then a breakdown so people can see quite clearly the different features of the products dead simple um, <clears throat> and then again more social proof things I cannot underestimate how important things like this are if people do not trust your store they will not buy from you full stop so very important to have these trust badges and then finally customer reviews um, again just re that that um, social proof and building confidence in, within your customer now I'll show you the checkout process very quickly because again very important so you choose your your size color and the quantity add to cart And then stays, takes you straight to your basket. <clears throat> As you can see, again, very clean cut, clear, crisp, easy to see what you're doing, what you're buying. And then the checkout button in blue, which is out on that page, the thing that stands out the most. So again, it just entices people that little bit more to complete the process and make a purchase. So you click on checkout. You've got your upsell offer. I'm going to be doing a video on upsell offers because they're very, very, very important. Um, so I won't go into detail too much about that now. So you can choose whether you want it or not. No thanks. Check out Add to Cart. Let's say they don't take it this time. I'm not going to pester them again with another upsell offer. So we'll take them straight to the basket and that's it. Continue to ship a method and complete the purchase. And that's pretty much it guys, that's all I'm going to show you because I've shown you the most important bits. So that's it guys, that's my first ever Shopify drop shipping store. As I said at the beginning, I've done over 100k on this store, so as you can see it doesn't take anything special. There was no external help on this, there was no designers or programmers, it was all just my own time. Images were taken from AliExpress and product descriptions were just a bit of common sense really. Um, and yeah that's, pr that's pretty much it if you've got any questions then post them below I will get back to you in fact the site is still live so I'll post a link to the site down below as well so you can go and have a look around yourselves um, and check out the other links I've got down there as well I've got some free ebooks on Facebook ads, Shopify and one with some product ideas that you can download for free so check them out um, and if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. 
I will be uploading every day. So see you in the next video.